That's okay. right. Slide down under control. Yeah, so you want your <laughs> other foot on the back. Yeah. Well, so you okay. Have, so not legs, sexy. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyler Ray here, your host of the Full Depth Podcast. I wanted to let you know that you could find us on iTunes as well as the Apple Podcast app and also on Stitcher for our Android users. If you're like me and like to listen to your podcast on the road, this is an excellent way to do so. As well, take a few moments to give us a review or a five-star rating as it helps push the podcast in the right direction. We appreciate all your support and we'll see you in the podcast. It's Austin Maliolo here. Hey, this is Paul Trombley. You're watching the Full Depth Podcast. And you're watching the Full Depth Podcast. What's going on, guys? It's Tyler Ray here, the host of the Full Depth Podcast. Joined with, as always, handsome Mike on the mic. What's going on? Missing... <laughs> We're not even getting rid of that. That was good. <laughs> missing, <laughs> missing Bobby the workhorse Tran today. That's all right. Let's start over again. Is that, gonna be, <laughs> is that good on anything? In course? I'm a hands talker. If you haven't figured that out already, and uh, knock that shit everywhere. But what's going on, guys? Let's try it again. I'm Tyler Ray, the host of the Full Depth Podcast. Joined with, as always, handsome Mike on the what's mic. What's going on? Bobby the workhorse Tran was not able to be with us today, but we held it down as best as possible. Oh, man, here. I would love. To see Bobby do what we just exactly. did. Exactly. <laughs> so been. we are at Vertical Pole Fitness, joined by Alex and Kada, co-owners here. And we just got brought through a bit of a pole workout. And I won't lie, that was pretty humbling. I don't know yeah. about you, Mike. I got such a sick, it's like bicep pump right now because of that. It's <laughs> yeah. And Cramped then I, th- I found out that I'm like a, a habitual sweater. Like I was just, my hands were clammy the whole time. So I was, I probably rubbed a good, you know, solid layer of your poles off with that, with that rag, but yeah. I did what I could. It happens. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for joining us today. Of course. And for those of us who are just tuning in for the first time and may not know who you are, tell us a little bit about Vertica, who you are, where you came from, and a little bit about yourselves as well. Okay, so Vertica, we opened um, just about a year and a half ago now. Um, We've been teaching pole, a little bit difference between us, but pretty much a combined, like maybe five years at this point. We're both at around at least three. At least three, yeah. So it's been a really awesome experience for sure. Um, Pole is super new to this area. Um, We did have some opportunities to, um, before we started teaching, to kind of take classes in, in other areas just to see what, Pole fitness sure. is really about. We both really fell in love with it. It's so fun. Um, it's kind of a mix of, you know, your strength training, but also there's a lot of artistic aspects to it too. So we both found like a really awesome um, experience just with either learning it or even just um, training and doing our regular workouts with it. It's awesome. So yeah, we uh, we opened our studio um, just about a year and a half now, and so. It's been great. Gladly <laughs> accepting new customers and new, uh, new. what do you call them as like, not athletes, uh, dancers? Like what do you call that when you're here and you do pole fitness, what do, what do you refer to yourself as? We just as? call them students, students. honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Pole yeah. students. Pole yeah. students. Yeah. yeah. Well, we were students and Alex, I will admit that some of the stuff that we had you doing at the end there for some, uh, you know, camera bites and stuff was amazing. Like oh, incredibly controlled and core strength. So I know from myself and Mike, we, mm-hmm. you know, even just kind of shooting the shit really quickly, like what a, 
trans like a translatable skill to that in the gym or even just athletics well just think about like what we preach to our clients like shoulder stability right. core stability hip right. stability and like these are things that we were just working on yeah. in a totally different unique way than than we're used to right absolutely so how would someone you know that is you know listening to the podcast right now that is interested in trying something a little bit new what would be their first steps like how do they do they you know come just walking off the street and jump into a class or like do you have like a foundation course that you teach something that they'd be you know able to kind of transition into the studio yeah, yeah. so we have um, what we call a vertical fit intro to pole it's a 40 minute class uh, they can walk in off the street no prior experience to it but we do recommend reserving a spot because it does often fill up so in that class um, they'd be learning a few of the movements that you guys did um, it starts out with about a 15 to 20 minute conditioning section so almost half the class is actually just conditioning and then from there they'll learn a couple basic pole movements and transitions so nothing in that class requires the um, being able to lift yourself or there's no upside down or anything like that. We're learning how to move around the pole and just kind of getting familiar with it and starting to build the strength. That's awesome. And what are some of the like benefits aside from obviously it's a, it's a hard workout, like for the average person walking in and you were speaking to someone for the first time, which you are right now about pole fitness, like what are some of the benefits they're going to find from coming in and joining you guys in a class? Well, there's a, a really amazing confidence uh, aspect to it. So we, when we have everyone come in, it's really not, um, we're not trying to preach, I guess, you know, this is a great workout for weight loss, although that is an amazing benefit um, to it as well, because you are doing um, some pretty intense, in, in, like strength training. Um, it's kind of like interval training too. It's not um, completely from start to finish. You're constantly moving. There's a little bit of stop and go, um, but it's pretty heavy in terms of strength training. Um, but a great benefit is honestly just coming into a great community of women and we're really supportive of each other your journey is however, like whatever pace you want to learn at, that's pretty much we let that be up to you. Um, and then from there, it's it's really fun to watch your progress with it. So you're learning just basic like body movements, um, basic coordination, but it's something that, you know, you're really mindful in yeah. your in your experience here. So every class you're really like, you have to be focused on what you're doing and you have to really like, you know, talk to yourself about trust um, you're doing a lot of things where you're kind of like you're using your own body weight to generate either momentum or you're lifting your own body weight after a couple classes. So with that, it's really awesome because you are connecting like with yourself, with your own movement. And it's not, you know, something that you can just go through motions. Yeah. You're really connected with what you're doing. So it, it's amazing for those things. And then also there's an artistic and creative aspect to it as well. Yeah. When we give you like a little routine to work on, um, we're not like super strict. Like it has to be, um, you know, exactly one certain way. You know, if you kind of want to add your own flair to it, we yeah. do those kinds of things as well. So it's really awesome. There's so many different uh, aspects and we're really open to all of those right. that when we're in a class, you know, we want you to feel comfortable in your own body and we want you to feel um really confident so yeah we're working on all of those things what an amazing message yeah. like yeah. so many commonalities from what you said to a couple of our other podcasts we've had with Mo you know moksha mm -hmm. yoga talking about the community element i think that's probably one of the most important if not the most important aspect of just health and wellness in general is having a support team and people around you that share those common beliefs and common goals mm -hmm. and that's what's going to string together success for me something like pole fitness i might not necessarily have this as like my you know full-time fitness endeavor however you know, utilizing it every now and then, like I do with yoga, mm -hmm. allows you to connect with your body in a different way. And what an amazing way to kind of evolve as a human, you mm -hmm. know, per se, and, and move forward in life is just experience new things. And that's what, you know, Mike and I and Bob, we always talk about, like experience new things. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you right now, you know, fitness on a pole, new thing. Totally. <laughs> yeah. Definitely a new thing. Yeah. One thing I noticed um, was that you know, you talk about like being mindful and connected with your body. And so like we do a ton of like pull-ups and, and, and chin-ups and push-ups and whatever we want to do in, in, in the gym. But, you know, for me to hold the pole close to me, that sounds off. Uh, <laughs> so if, like me holding myself up with the pole, um, I, had, I had to think in a different way than I would think when I'm doing a pull-up, right? Because yeah. now my body's in a different maneuver. Uh, my legs are somewhere else. So like that mindful connection is huge for me. Where, whereas, like at the gym, like we go through the motions almost like every day, and it's easy for us. Whereas this is like totally beyond our scope of practice, and, and yet we still sort of connect yeah. with it. And that's what's kind of amazing with pole as well. We find that um, we love what we do. So now on days that we're not necessarily training pole, we're super motivated to train 
all of those other aspects. So I can mm -hmm. speak for myself and I say, I do yoga probably two or three days a week. I run probably two days a week. I do weight training and strength training one to two days a week as well. So that when I come to my pole training, I have all of those other aspects. And that really, like, that really helps to to progress, but then also um, it's important when you're doing something that's so acrobatic to have all of those other practices as well because it really it really correlates, like it translates really well. And then you're doing a lot of things where you know you're holding yourself, but you also have to be aware of like what every single part of your body is doing. Whereas sometimes you know, yeah, you're in a basic like pull up or whatever, you're not really too focused on exactly where the leg positioning is sure. or the toe is pointed and all those other things. That's what I found to be the hardest things. part of, of some of the routines is, you know, I can maybe hold my body in a certain way, but making it look mm -hmm. another way is, is an, yeah, that's another thing yeah. in, in total. So, you know, point the toe or get that knee beside the other knee or yeah. um, relax the face. Don't relax the <laughs> face. Yeah, yeah, face in, is a big one for yeah, a lot of people. Right? Yeah, right. Because you yeah. kind of, it, it should look a little bit effortless from what I gather, mm -hmm. right? Like a good pole routine <clears throat> looks effortless. It's fluid. There's long, it's like dancing at ballet, right? Like long sure. lines. Um, and I was trying to, I was, trying, I was trying to channel that. It didn't really work all, uh, that well, but it was awesome. I had a lot of fun doing that. That was great. I will try it again for sure. Now, how did you guys meet? We we met at another studio, yeah. so we were both working there. Um, I had like I wasn't working there prior to doing pole. Like they were offering um, a pole certification program. Um, so basically, I started working there at that point, but Kata was working there a bit before. Yeah, so I was already working there for, I think, uh, about a year and a half, and I was taking pole lessons there, and they had approached me about uh, doing a certification because I was already Pilates instructor. So that was when we first met, and then um, from there, we both kind of had ideas for how we wanted to grow the pole community in Windsor. Where we were before was, um, it was a fitness studio that offered pole as opposed to a pole fitness studio. Mm -hmm. So we really had uh, a dream to be able to offer like all of the aspects of pole, whereas before, um, because just limits due to the schedule and, and equipment, they only had um, a, four poles in the in the space that we could only run certain types of classes. So we really had a dream for um, having a space that would be focused on pole and the other aerial aspects and then on all of the conditioning that needed to, to happen in order to do pole. We really struggled um, when we first started teaching because our students didn't have the strength required for a lot of the movements. And there's kind of a, um, a plateau that most students hit around like our, what we would call an intermediate level where they it, they just have to build more strength and more flexibility in order to be able to get the moves because the moves just get to that point of just being challenging sure. and, and, and requiring a lot of like kind of weird flexibility. Like a lot of even dancers come in and they have a lot of like hip flexibility. But for, I know for me, I had to really work on like my low back and shoulder mm -hmm. flexibility. I'd never had to, to have that for ballet or anything. Mm -hmm. So for us, we had these students coming in and they were progressing really well up until that level. And then they were kind of hitting a brick wall. So being able to offer the classes in our own studio um, that they could come in and, you know, be building the strength, building the flexibility and setting, have, having them to refer them elsewhere or, you know, tell them to work on it on their own time. We were able to to create a space where they can take their pole classes with us and then also our the strength classes. So that was really our our dream and our, our first talks were kind of like, let's create a space where it's more, it, it'll create more well-rounded students mm. and that's pretty much what that's we've awesome. achieved. And you have like, this is such an awesome space. It's way bigger than I expected, to be honest. Um, you have how many poles? We have nine. Nine, nine. poles. Yeah. And in a typical class, typical class, I imagine you don't go any larger than that type of a yeah, group? Yeah, so we go we go eight in a class. The okay. one pole is reserved for the teacher pole. Um, we do go larger than that for bachelorette and girls' night parties sure. um, because they're alternating between the routines. But yeah, one of the features of our studio is that we don't, we don't have any pole sharing or anything. They come in, they're getting their, their own pole um, throughout the class, and it kind of lets them kind of work at their own pace and take breaks as needed. But a lot of our, our pole specific classes are like kind of a combination of a follow along and then kind of working at your own pace. So we'll teach them a couple movements and we might go through a few of them together. And then they're given, you know, say maybe five, 10 minutes to work yeah. on that by themselves. And then we're going through the class and working with them on, you know, tweaking, mm -hmm. tweaking the, mov the movement. So it really is kind of like a, an individual type thing, whereas opposed to like with our fitness classes, they're more follow along. But with any type of fitness, like if you're going to a class, it's usually like, okay, you're doing this and you're doing it at the same pace as the instructor. It pulls a little bit different from that because the instructor is going to show you and then you're going to kind of work through it. So it's almost like you, you show them movement. You guys 
bring them through step by step and then it's on it's on them to sort of practice you know however long they, they take the practice and then you move on to the next step i'd imagine yeah pretty much yeah. um for a lot of our classes like we have um we have several different levels here and we have some classes that are mixed levels as well so we have like an intermediate one slash two class so some of the girls in that class um when we're going through movement it's maybe not their first time having done it they've done it before so now they're just going to work on okay let's point the toes let's get the face right you know let's clean it up let's make it a little bit more tidy get around the pool a couple more times where somebody who's first learning it they're actually learning the mechanics of the movement so um yeah so it's definitely driven especially for those students who are a little bit more advanced that okay you know the movement now let's work on cleaning it up and doing the other side so it's a little bit yeah more individualistic in that sense i think i like the like what i like the most is the the skill element to it right like for me i find the most success out of fitness when there is an element of skill involved because I'm competitive, right? I think it mm-hmm. kind of appeals to mm-hmm. the athlete in me. And for those of you listening that are maybe looking for a bit of a challenge, kind of the benefits to that being that as a result of the challenge, you might get a little bit fitter, move a little bit more different and be more aware of your body. So I love that. Sure. Now, do you, do you guys get, I didn't mean to laugh, but you said you haven't had any um, co-ed classes yet. We've you, gotten a couple yeah. of yeah? requests. Okay. Yeah, we had, um, it was cute. We had our, our Christmas party. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. with our Christmas party, um, we obviously invited our members, but they were able to bring like a significant mm-hmm. other. Sure. And it was cute because at first um, we we're like, what are we going to have them do? Yeah. Just kind of hang out on the side. And then it ended up where we're like, you know, you can come over yeah. and give, give something yeah. a try. And then we're like, we kind of got a few requests yeah. after, like, we could do a co-ed class or we yeah. could do a, a men's only class. Yeah. yeah. We're definitely open to it. We have had a few guys come in. We actually haven't had anybody since we relocated, but we did mm-hmm. at our old space. Um, there is a huge pole community of men. Um, in North America, it's not as large, and I think a lot of that is just because of the stigma. But sure. in, yeah. um, in Europe, in the UK and Russia specifically, there's a massive amount of men who do it. It's more. It's a lot more gender balanced. But, mm-hmm. yeah, we, we, we really want to do a – a guys pull class um we noticed any time that we have had anything in here where members could bring significant others like the christmas party and we had um an acro class for valentine's day which had nothing to do with the polls yet somehow the guys still end up being on the polls exactly yeah. you know what guys are going to pretend like they don't want to try this but right. as soon as i stood in front of the poll i wanted to be yeah. like I can do these. Yeah. I had to reserve. I had to reserve myself to not go all out. But yeah, I, my, yeah. That was that was my boyfriend. I I, yeah. he, I brought him to the Christmas party, and so it was his first time, like you know, being in here with like other people. And he's like, "I'm not gonna have to do anything on the pole, right?" And I'm like, "No, like we're just you know, it's a Christmas party. We're gonna do some stuff." And yeah. then like, of course, by the end, he's like, you know, with all these other guys, and they're yeah. trying to like see who can climb the pole the fastest, yeah. and just doing typical male like, yeah. let's right. see who can do this better. Kind of yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what comes yeah. out. I think that's where you know, a guy class would thrive as if it was based more on like, here's some strength elements, here's some, as opposed to maybe the graceful, yeah. sexy yeah, movements, which yeah. we tried to give a go-to, Mike. Hey, I'm speak for yourself. Speak you for yourself. You practice the I, sexy stuff way I more often that than I do. Most. <laughs> Mike's in there and he's like taking a selfie while spinning around the pole, like <laughs> yeah, got yeah. that duck face going on hard. But um, no, that's, I honestly wouldn't mind trying like a full class. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like the element of warm up, and I know you only had us go through a few little mm-hmm. bits of warm up, but the mechanics of the warm up squatting right mm. um side bending and oblique and uh, core warm up and i think that again it's something we can relate to as well mm. you want to warm up all facets of the movement that you would be demonstrating Definitely. throughout the class as well so i love that now is there anything like you this is your stage you have the floor you have the mic is there anything you want to get out there to the community to let them know about vertica that you know, power, you know, you've said some great stuff already and I, and I love what you're trying to create. And I think that's what we're trying to do as well. Right. With the, with the podcast, create a community of like-minded people. What do you have to say to the people before we wrap stuff up? Okay. Um, well, there's so many things, um, about trying something new. There's so many benefits to that. And now we understand that, you know, there's a lot of, there might be some hesitation into trying something like this that's new, um, especially if you haven't really gotten the opportunity to see um, what we're all about. But we do have a great, like, we do have a great offer just trying us for two weeks, see what we're all about. You can, you know, get a feel for all the classes that we offer. Um, but it's something where when you're trying something that's made to f- make you feel really comfortable in your own body, and that's something that we push for with every class is, you know, we start it with um, just a, a full on warm up with your, you know, your, it's very, it's very good. 
it's very good to have um, girls in class that have tried it before so that we welcome new people all the time. Um, everyone's really, really friendly. So a program that we're starting now um, that we believe is a really great supplement to pole is called the Aerial Hoop or what, Lyra? Lyra. So with Lyra, um, we're doing a workshop this upcoming Saturday. So Lyra is essentially the hula hoop in the sky, so mm -hmm. the hanging hoop. Um, we believe that it really, really translates well to pole. Very similar movements. It's, it's an acrobatic sure. um, sport. But there's a couple elements that make it um, a little bit more, how, how would you say, like, not necessarily easier, but it has different elements that we want to maybe bring people in that might be yeah. hesitant to do pole. And so we want them to try mm -hmm. that first. There's a little less um, strength required, like from a, a beginner perspective. It, it does require strength as well, but I think the, the barrier to entry for it's a bit lower. Okay. Um, and um, there's a lot there's a lot that can happen in the hoop that's um, very simple. Okay. And we'll make sure we post some information for that. This will this will be airing. You, you guys will be hearing this Friday, um, but we'll make sure that we post information. I know it might be last minute. However, I'm sure upcoming, we'll make sure that we keep you guys apprised anything that you guys have to offer here that might benefit our community yeah. as well. And we talked a bit before about doing a promo. We'll post the details in the links below. We They wanted to make sure that you guys have the opportunity to, to try poll and uh, they'll offer something special for the full depth community. Now guys, I had a, an amazing time learning some movements, mm -hmm. learning from you guys. I'm glad you reached out to us to find us because yeah. that way we could share your story with with Windsor and the surrounding community yeah. as well as all around the world because we're, <laughs> we're trying to reach the we're world. We're going global. Yeah. We're going global here. So on behalf of Tyler Ray, the host of the Full Depth Podcast, handsome Mike Patella on the mic, thank and you. the girls of, of Vertical Pole Fitness, we say thank you and see you in the thank next you one. Thank you so much, thank guys. You. All right, peace.